What you guys got another video we're taking a look at this free tool that stops zero day attacks on your pc if you're running windows 10 ltsc or windows 10 iot ltsc versions or even windows 10 versions you need to get this tool immediately because zero day attacks are some of the most dangerous threats to a pc your antivirus program often can't stop these attacks so in this video i will show you a free and easy tool called zero patch that will help protect your Windows PC from zero day vulnerabilities even before the official patches are released by Microsoft. You have to remember Windows 10 has already reached end of support and it's on extended support. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. They have a new year sale going on on their website right now. You can check out some of the links in the video description. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then you can click on the buy now button and make sure you use my promo code to get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. You just put it in a promo code box, apply that to your order and get a discount. They have a variety of different keys on offer. So check out the links in the video description. Once you have your key, head over to the activation center, click change, paste in your key, click next, and then click activate to activate your version of Windows. Now we have talked about zero patch before, but now Windows 10 has reached end of life. If you want extra security without slowing down your system, this is something you should know about zero patch. There is a free version which will give you zero day patches, but the free edition is limited. It does give you zero day patches, but it doesn't support Windows 10 22 H2 for extended support. It doesn't give you patches for old office, or even older versions of Windows 10 or Windows 11 that are now end of life. You can see right here, if you're running 21H2 of Windows 10, then it's not going to be supported. That's going to be LTSE versions or IoT LTSE versions. You're going to need the Pro Edition to get extra patches and extra support for those additions. So if you want to use outdated uh, versions of Windows because you like it, then you're going to need the Pro Edition for that extra support. So let me show you how we're going to set this up. So basically, I've gone to Zero Patches website and I've downloaded the software. You can download it for free. You will need to create an account, but you don't need to give any uh, name and address or anything like that. Just basically put in your email address and they will then send you uh, your activation. So you can see right here, I've already launched it. And then now it's asking me for my signing details. So head back over to their website and create an account. Put in your email address and click register. They will then send you your verification email. Let me just quickly show you what that looks like here. So once you go to your email client and check your email, you should see an email there like this. Just click on verify account and your account will then be verified. You will then be able to see something looking like this on their website, but we haven't uh, done anything with it yet because we haven't signed into the application so it's looking to look blank so let's head over to the application and sign in to the actual application on that pc because this is going to be our update client that we're going to use to update our system so i'm going to sign in here using my details click sign in and you should already see it's starting to uh, sync with your pc when you click on the sync now and because we're using the free edition you'll see there is applications were not patched. There's quite a few. And there's a few other patches that haven't been applied because we're only using the free version. Now, if you're happy with the free version, by all means, continue to use it and your system will be protected and updated on a regular basis for zero day attacks. But if you're using an older version of Windows 10, for instance, uh, say Windows 10 IoT LTSC or LTSE editions, these have already reached end of life and are on extended support. So you might want to get some extra added security for that system. Even if you're using old outdated office products, you're going to need to get the Pro Edition to be able to get extra support. You can see here patches available for purchase on the Pro Edition 2027. There is quite a lot of patches that can be added to that system with the Pro Edition. So the free edition is not really going to protect you as much as the pro edition and the pro edition is not that expensive if you want to continue to use say windows 10 
into the foreseeable future, you're going to need extra protection like this to be able to protect your PC. Even on IoT LTSE editions, they're not going to get the full protection because it's on extended support. So using something like this in conjunction uh, with that extended support IoT LTSE editions or LTSE editions is essential to keep your PC safe. And this is what I'd advise you to do is go and purchase the Pro Edition on this to protect your PC. Now, let's go back over to the website and sign in right here. You can see now it's populated. We're on the free edition still, as you can see, and we've got more information on their website as it breaks it all down. And it tells you what's enabled and what's disabled. It tells you in the last hour, the last day, the last month, and more. And it's all color categorized right here. Also, it tells you the agent and also the patches that have just been applied. And looking on the left, you've got all of your account details, billing and resources. And up the top, it tells you the licenses. You can see right here, it says start now for a trial on the Pro Edition or Enterprise Edition. So let's take a look at that and get 30 days free for the Pro Edition. So this is going to give us extra protection. And of course, if you're a business and you've got lots of old computers, you might want to go down the Enterprise route. But we're going to start the free trial for the Pro Edition here. And this is only one computer license. We've got up to 10 we can use on the free edition. So we're still on the free edition right now. We need to wait until that populates. And it will then tell us we are now on the Pro Edition. So there you go. It's now populated. And we are now on the Pro Edition. And we still got one license. So you only get one license on the Pro Edition up the top. So I'm going to go back here. And we're waiting to this uh, syncs. So let me sync this to the computer now. And all these red uh, patches should then start to install on this computer and get it nice and safe. So let me go up and see. We've got all this enabled. We're still on the free edition here. We need to make sure that we uh, get this on the pro edition because it's still saying free. We need to wait until it updates. And then we can click the sync now button. There we go. And it's now told us that we are on the Pro Edition and it's now patched the whole of this system with all of those patches and we should be fully updated. So if Windows is a must operating system for you and you must have Windows, then you can continue to use that old computer with Windows 10 installed on it and still be safe and receive updates in some sort of form because this is the only way you're going to be able to use that computer in the foreseeable future with security patches. And if you're using old editions of Office that haven't been updated in years, then you should use Zero Patch anyway to get some security patches for that system. Now, remember, this is Windows 10 21 H2, which is on this system. So I do need to have the Pro Edition to be able to get extended support because Microsoft are not going to push those out to you anymore. You need something like this to get extra protection. And Zero Patch has been around for quite a while. It did support Windows 7 as well. But Windows 10 is right here. It does support it. And if you're looking at the prices, I'll show you what the prices are. Zero Patch doesn't work in the same way as what Windows does. It does micro patches and it doesn't actually patch at the kernel level. It's doing micro patches. It explains it all on their website. What is Zero Patch? Zero Patch is a microscopic, uh, you know, solution for huge security problems, and it will continue to support that operating system for many years to come. So if you've tried to jump ship to Linux and it's just not working out for you, then something like this will be ideal. Even if you are using Linux as your main daily driver, but still need to log in to uh, Windows 10, you do need to make sure that is fully patched and this software will do that for you. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I'll sure catch you in the next video. Bye for now.